Okay, so I am going to go ahead and switch to my desktop. Because y'all, y'all aren't going to believe these cards. We are playing with the mini messages stamp set tonight. Are we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's got a friend here, mini happenings. And both of these are available in the new catalog. This is the die cutting set. Now, you know, you're probably like, I'm never going to use all that. Oh, oh, well, here I am to help you with just that. Okay. I had to plug in my, my camera up here, which is the phone. Don't be impressed. I don't have like a whole cameraman thing going on here. Okay. So a couple of things you need to know. This mini catalog is ending on June 30th. All right, June 30th. If y'all want all the things, which I know you do, I know you do, you got a month, okay? We're going to call it a month because um, really and truly what you need to do, hey, Teresa, if there's something in here that you need in order to live a normal life, like I did, you need to go ahead and order it because once these kind of things sell out, that weren't carried into the new catalog, they're gone. Okay? Okay. Lisa, I got my hair cut short today like yours. Ah! Oh, how about that? Are we twinsies? I love it. I was just saying, I got to do something with mine. Okay, so we're going to play with these sets, and I'm going to give you a preview of the layout of the cards and then show you how to how to use them, okay? Um... But first, I want to show y'all some happy mail I got. It was actually in person, y'all. Look at this. Y'all know that I have Boston Terriers, right? And y'all, I, I meant to show you this last Tuesday. My sweetheart friend, Teresa, gave me this. And look, it has a matching bowl. Ah, isn't it cute as a button? I love them. So I decided in my um in my studio, I'm keeping this one in my studio because it makes me so stinking happy. I had coffee in it one day and then the coffee ran down his face and he looked like he'd been in my coffee. He did. So <laughs> anyway, so I'm keeping him on my Lazy Susan right over here. And then it came with a bowl too. And Teresa saw these at um, one of those Super Kroger's, I think, and bought it for me. And I'm telling y'all, that kind of thing makes me cry because it is so sweet for someone to think of you. Okay, I don't know if I showed you these that I made. Um, probably not these two, but you probably saw that one. But I did these two because they're so stinking cute. And here I just did the little chef hats, which I know I showed you those. But here I did the stamp that has the celery, the mushroom, and the tomato. And then I put I put just a wee, a wee bit of shadow right there. And I colored them with my um with my watercolor uh pencils. Okay, are y'all ready for the bomb diggity? Because I'm ready to show you. All right, using this set with this die set, okay? You see how big it is. Guess what? You can cut it down. You sure can. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man, I wanted to show you this first. Okay, these, these little guys came out of this, and I die cut them out, and they are heat embossed, and they're coming out of the little envelope that's in snail mail that y'all need to order before June 30th or even before they sell out. And then this is basic white notes and envelopes, okay? Note cards and envelopes. All right, and that was just some of the little strips that came out of here, and I uh, heat embossed. Okay, y'all, so here's what we're making tonight, but it's going to be a different color altogether. This is it, y'all. Isn't this adorable? How about this? Now, y'all, here, here's what, here's what, here's what. I used this die cutting, and I, I just did the top of it. You can see this shape is there, that shape is there, yada, 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 right? Ninja Man's getting eyes. Um, 
so then I just cut down my so-called template. I guess you'd call this a template is what is left when you cut these out. And I put designer series paper from the hand-pinned suite. I put a, a sheet of that behind it and little flags on the side. And then I came in with the, uh, ma not Mango Melody, maybe it, it's the pink. It's the pink, y'all. I came back <laughs> with those that I had heat embossed, and we're going to do that tonight, too. And I popped some up. This one, this one, this one, this one, and that one are all popped up on dimensionals. This one's flat. And then I put the little bling on them there. Okay? Isn't that cool? But wait, there's more, y'all. There's more. I went just a little bit crazy. All right. Who was it that didn't like naked chickens? Is that Nyoka? Is that Nyoka? Look at this one, y'all. Look at this card. Is that hilarious? Now, y'all, it's a certain size. I mean, it's not the size that we typically do cards. This one is five by five and a quarter. Uh, yes, Melon Mambo. Thank you, Heather. I was trying to think of what it was called. So same principle, y'all. I put designer series paper back here, and this is the um, the oh, in good taste. Heaven only knows what made them call it in good taste, okay? But that's one of the light wood backgrounds. These are supposed to be balloons, but you know what? They could also be Easter eggs right there, right there. And then it's me. <laughs> I thought so, Nyoka. Okay. I don't have any naked chickens except this one. She's almost, almost. But y'all, we've got this chicken. We've got the feed sacks that are covering up some of the cutouts. See, these two cutouts here, the feed sacks cut, cut, uh, cover the top. Then the eggs, he's peeking out over the top. And then there's this chicken and this chicken. And then I used those, um, the die cuts from the hay chick and the uh, birthday chick, where it has a, a fence, and I just put those in. And then we put bling, bling, and bling, and bling. And then a little bit of um, twine here. And y'all, I mean, I'm sorry, but I think this is hilarious and fun and cute and all the things. All the things. But wait, there's more. Y'all, I've been working on this. Okay, before I show you this one, I want you to know that I used the new, um, let me show you this paper that you probably won't even see in the catalog, okay? But I showed it to y'all last week with my paper share, and here it is, right here. It's on page 135, and it's called Gold and Rose Gold Metallic Specialty Paper, okay? Now, y'all, the thing about all this is, um, I have a super sweet lifelong friend whose son is graduating from high school. Now, y'all got to know all this before I show you the card. The colors of his high school are navy blue and gold, and that's the school near us. And she sent me a graduation announcement that had a lot of his pictures just in different areas all over the front. And then uh, on the back, I think there were three down the side, one big one on the front. Anyway, y'all, are y'all ready? Do you want to see it? Do you want to? I know, I know. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to not say anything. See what y'all say. Look at this. Isn't it? See, here I go. I wasn't going to say anything. I'm going to wait and let y'all say something. I'm not going to say words. I'm going to drink my drink, my right here. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I can't stay quiet. Okay, so <laughs> we've got his navy blue and gold. I got to step up and say I used vinyl for the NHS. Cut that on, out on my die cutter. Thank you, Michelle. And what I did I kind of figured out, okay, y'all, like I took the die cut like this, okay, 
And now this is his big picture. You see, this is the bottom of his shirt. This is the top of him. Thank you, Mich uh, Nyoka. Thank you. So what I did, I laid this over the picture and I just kind of very carefully marked around it, cut out whatever shape. And, and y'all, then I took that little piece, okay, just this part of him, and I ran it through right here, all right? Because you don't have to have anything over here, y'all. You don't, you don't. So I ran it through, okay? And I came out with boop and boop, okay? And I had already cut the gold. Okay, so then I was ready for this one. And again, I just kind of went around it, okay? Hey, Angela, are you still on here? Because if you are, you know what this is about, girlfriend. Thank you, Marilyn. So I just kind of went around this picture a little bit. I didn't I didn't mark on the inside, okay? I made sure that I did not mark on the inside because that's going to show. And then, yeah, actually, hang on. Roll back, roll back. Um, yes, it was this one because it's got the points, okay? And when I got it out of the of the die cut, it was shy of this point right here, and it really looked like it, too. And I was like, okay. Yes, Angela, you know what this is about. So, so y'all, it was, I had a point here and a point here out of his picture. Well, then I thought, wait a minute. I just cut those edges off right there, and look, we got that, okay? So, this was down at the bottom of his, of his um, graduation announcement, and I kind of think I want to put, like, a, uh, navy blue dot or something there. I'm not sure. I just finished this card today. And then um, picture of him, picture of him. And this, these are three that belong together. You see? And he's all into classic cars and he's a racer and not, he doesn't race classic cars. He races um, go-karts. And he's a very, very, very well-established racer. Anyway, so this is, and y'all, I just, I just love it. And on the inside, I will put a white because this is white. And there it says, congratulations, just simple. I wanted it to really focus on him, but I'm going to put a white thing there. And, and then I'm going to write our little sentiment and put our gift in there. So y'all, what do you think? I'm so excited. And I mean, I love, y'all know, I love making something out of nothing. And to me, when I looked at this, when I first saw it in the catalog, I was like, I just don't need to do all that. So I didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with our card tonight. I need a birthday card. Make sure everybody saw this one while I'm getting my stuff together. Okay, and that's it. That's it. But I love it. I love it. And... Here we go. We're going to start. We've got an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of cardstock. Okay. I cut this right down the middle at five and a half. All right. I always want y'all to know that's where I get, that's where I get my card bases from. Okay. Okay. This happens to be my card base. Typically I will use the heavy cardstock, but it only comes in white right now. Is that even a question? All right, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it on my Stamparatus. Y'all, we're going to do all the things tonight. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, this is my embossing buddy, which we don't even sell anymore. Do not ask me why. I did not get invited to that meeting. Okay, y'all, so this, this is my Stamparatus. It is a stamp positioning tool. I put this big old stamp on here. All right, here we go. Here we go. So the reason I use this doodly-doo right here is to get the static off. Okay. All right. The Versa Mark is a clear ink, and it's good for lots of things. But, um, and I'm just, I'm using this homemade thing. It's just, it's just, it's homemade, y'all. It's the top off of one of those fancy candles. And then it's got the little foot pieces for furniture. And then it's got a piece of felt. That's all I can tell you. And here we go. All right. Now, people are selling these things on Etsy. And they're about a million and two dollars. So you should make your own. 
All right, so I'm going to hold this down because I should have put my magnet down. And I do want to put a little more Versamark right through here. And this way, yeah, I definitely should have put my, um, put my magnet on. And if I've screwed up, we'll know in a minute. We will know in a minute. Here we go. Thank you, Dana. I'm glad you will because there's some really pretty cards. And I'll also probably show them at the end, too. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Oh, we're golden. Okay, and I can just park this. Oh, dear. Right there. Okay, I parked it in the drawer. So, y'all, because I'm going to use this paper and the basic gray background, I want to use gold embossing powder. Now, don't tell Stampin' Up, but I don't have my gold embossing powder right now. I'm going to use this brand, which is, y'all, it's pretty much the same thing. It pretty much is. Now, I want this to be a birthday card, so we're going to cut out a lot of this. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, and uh, go ahead and heat emboss it all because heaven only knows I might need need one to say something else one day, right? All right, hold on. I hope I'm not out of... I'm not good. You can see me. Okay, come on. Come on. All right. Boop. Okay, so when I thumped it, that, that did not please it very much. So I got to do it again. Because, y'all, if you get too much, it's going to um, kind of bleed together. Because what ha Oh, don't tell me. Wait a minute. Oh, good. Whew. Oh, it is embossing powder. I was about to say, don't tell me this is glitter. Ooh, doggies. See, I would see Kathy Bow meltdown. Well, not really. I've had plenty of reason to melt down the last few days. And I did a couple of times, but it's okay now. It's okay. Um, first of all, y'all, I had to go to the eye doctor. Now, let me just say this about that. I had cataracts when I was a wee bairn of like 48 years old, okay? Just a baby. I, I know, I've made a mess. I had cataracts, and um, now I'm type 2 diabetic. So, see, basically, I am, I'm an overachiever, right? Okay. So, um, I, I, did, I didn't want to go. I didn't. Because I'm like, no, I don't want y'all to tell me if, if my diabetes is eating up my eyes. So, I was, I was uncharacteristically beside myself that day. Like, he told me, your eyes are great. You don't have any problem with the diabetes. So I cried. Yeah, right there in front of him. And and it was okay. I didn't even care. I was just like, you, you just don't even know me. And he really doesn't because he'd never seen me before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to heat this up. I know it's loud, but I'll go as quick as I can, y'all. Or not, but I'm going to try to, okay? Look at it. Y'all, this is like magic. Magic. Do you see it? And we're just going to go ahead and do all of them because you're going to cut them all too. All right? Got this a gold heart. Oh, you can't really see because my hand's over it. I'm so sorry. See it coming, y'all? Look at the difference. That's what I've done, and that's what I hadn't done. I mean, really. Is this the coolest stuff? I'm on a, um, can y'all even hear me? I'm on, <laughs> I just keep on talking. I'm on a challenge right now where I had to come up with a challenge for my group. And we're just a bunch of friends on Facebook. And I said, use your favorite technique, which I thought that'd be so easy. But you know what? Some people don't have a favorite technique because they love them all. This is my favorite, y'all. It didn't even occur to me. Maybe somebody don't have, some people don't have a favorite. I don't know. But man, I sure do. Because this is, it's just so cathartic. Is that the word? I don't know, y'all. I don't have my synonym finder here. <laughs> all right, look, look where we are. Look where we are, y'all. Look at all of this. I mean, y'all. And wait till you see it with this paper. The designer series paper that I'm about to show you. It is gorgeous. 
All right, I'm just checking over it, making sure everybody got, got hot. And sometimes people do it underneath like this. I don't do it that way. Okay. Who doggies that was loud. All right, hold on. First, we're going to we're going to take care of this little situation right here. But yeah, y'all, so um so while I was at the eye doctor, this super sweet girl, she comes in and she's, you know, telling me what they're going to do and all this stuff. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm really kind of anxious about today because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. She's like, I understand. And she was just sweet. And then comes, I'm going, I'm going to name him Boudreaux because y'all, I don't, I don't remember what his name is. Um, yes, Nyoka, it does have a wow factor. Heather, I love the gold too. Um, and this is my, uh, daughter-in-law, Emily. It's her, it's her birthday card. So y'all, and if anybody's out there watching and you hadn't said, hey, hey, just jump in. Just jump in. So I'm going to name him Boudreaux. So Boudreaux walks in, and he's the guy that's going to write down every single thing the doctor says while the doctor's poking and prodding in my eyeball, y'all. And, okay, so Boudreaux comes in, and his name tag is on. And y'all, I don't remember his real name, as I said, but we're going to call him Boudreaux. And he walked in, and I read his name tag. And I was trying to be friendly because I was about to jump out of that chair and start running, okay? And I thought, this will make me feel better, and I hope I hope it makes him happy, too. Y'all, I'm using my um, washi tape to hold this down because once you've put your heat emboss on there, it's too important. You don't want to be screwing that up. And... I've shown y'all before, I'm going to wipe this on my shoulder, okay? On my shoulder to get just a little of the tacky off, okay? Because I don't want it sticking down for life. So I look up and I say, oh, hey, Boudreaux. And I mean, really, I did call him by his real name. Um, and y'all, he he's wearing a mask. We're all wearing masks. And first of all, I can't breathe. And secondly, Boudreaux is just looking at me like I just said you know, go home and, and cut my grass and do my laundry. I mean, that's the way the man is looking at me. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm at least 35, 40 years older than you, and you better speak. But guess what? He didn't. And the doctor just keeps going on. And so the doctor's calling out all these funny words to Boudreaux, and Boudreaux's typing it in over there. You know how they do that. And yes, those are normal noises, y'all normal noises. We're going to go back through because we can. Hold on. Okay. So, y'all. Boudreaux just types everything in. And the doctor proclaims me okay. He says I'm alive and well. And I had to sit there and have a little bit of a cry. And Boudreaux stands up. And I said Boudreaux which really and truly I said his name, but I said, Boudreaux, I spoke to you when you came in, and now I'm going to speak to you as you go out. I hope you have a great afternoon. It was really nice seeing you. Boudreaux didn't speak. And y'all, this, this isn't one of those stories that Boudreaux couldn't speak. Boudreaux didn't speak. And I said, Doctor, I have spoken to him twice, and he has yet to speak to me. So I have now told him goodbye. Did you notice that? Because maybe maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe the stress was too much and nobody really said anything. And I, I don't know. I don't know. But I said, but it's weird. It's weird that Boudreaux has not spoken to me. Now, Boudreaux is still standing at the door. And I and doctor just looks at me and he looks back at Boudreaux. <laughs> and I said, okay, bye, Boudreaux. And then the doctor goes, y'all know I can't be bad. Y'all know. You know I cannot be bad, right? The doctor says, oh, he's waiting. To <laughs> he's waiting to walk you out. He's going to walk you up to the desk. <laughs> and you know what I said? I said, of course he is. <laughs> because now I have to take Boudreaux on to raise. All the way to the front stinking desk. I have to take him to raise. Y'all, I was done with Boudreaux. I had told Boudreaux goodbye. Was Boudreaux done with me? Oh, no. Mm -mm, no, he was not. 
was not. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, this is the part we're using. <laughs> I just tried to throw it away. Okay, is anybody here? Okay, so, y'all, Boudreaux walks me up to the front desk. He still has not said a word, even though I'm walking behind him. And behind him, I'm saying, you know, when somebody says, hey, hey, Boudreaux, you could say, hey, or you could, <laughs> y'all, he was so done with me. I said, you could say, hey, hey, back, or you could say, now look, I'm laying it on my card. Not, it's not going on yet but I'm getting a feel for how long I need this to be. So I'm going to be cutting it right here, okay? Just put a little fingernail in there and make it, just kind of mark it and make sure that I don't cut off that little bar there. And look, we have a smooth edge going across here, all right? We're going to do the same thing here. So I'm like... I'm like, Boudreaux, when, you know, when people talk to you, you can just go, hey, girl, hey. I really did that, y'all. I said, y'all, can, you can say, hey, girl, hey, or you can say, bye, Felicia. Or you, and I'm just chattering behind him as we're walking to the front desk because Boudreaux needs to learn. This is, this is how you can do it if you never want to speak to this person. And I said, but just to never even speak to him, I said, that's, that's just, that's just different. Don't you think there, Boudreaux? We, we were at the desk by this point. And he looked at me and he says, thank you for coming in. <laughs> and I said, Boudreaux, you spoke. <sighs> Y'all. Okay, I told y'all, I told y'all. Okay, Whew. All right, so now we're gonna put this piece on, y'all. <laughs> but I'm gonna measure it back here, all right? So poor Boudreaux, he is so glad I do not need further medical attention as far as eye doctors are concerned. He's probably already, you know, signed me up for the Ha Ha Hotel. But little does he know. Marilyn, I would have asked him if the cat had his tongue. You know, I think, I think he was just, you know, some people just hate their jobs. I don't know, but, but I was like, come on. I mean, at least a doctor should have said, now, Boudreaux, you could speak. But no, ain't nobody raising him right but me, right? It was funny. It was so funny, y'all. Especially when the doctor said, oh, he's going to walk you out. I'm like, no! <laughs> no! I don't want to get walked out. No! But I figured if I pitched a fit and cried, no! You know, in the climate these days, I could call it a political statement. I mean, right? I mean, doing anything. Right? Right. But I didn't. I didn't, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. Now, we got that piece, and we got this piece. Are we getting fancy or what? He was rude, Lisa. Can you imagine the story he went home and told me? Hey, that's my job, giving people good stories. Okay, he must not have been having a good day. Right? I know. And he had a better one when I showed up, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. But to just sit there, and Mama would say, bold face. I don't even know what that means. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay. I trimmed it just, just a wee bit. All right. And then we are going to take, let's see how big I want it. I don't know. This one has a, a, a bit, bit of a narrow, let's see. We'll use this. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go this way. Hmm. I need to go this way. I'm going to use this one. All right, I'll show you in a minute what I'm thinking about. Okay, this is how wide I want my little flag slash fishtail. All right? And because our, our little thingies, wherever I put them, my paper. Here it is. Dang, it's a good thing I didn't just cut that in two. Y'all know I would have, right? Okay. 
So our paper is going to be like this. I'm going to have to cut just a smidge off the side there. And then this piece, because it's got a an up and down pattern, right? Ha ha hotel. It's true. The ha ha hotel. You know, they've been after me for a while, Heather. Okay, so I'm just going to fishtail this and fishtail that or flag, however you want to say it. I'm going to show you what I'm what, what I'm talking about. I don't even know how wide this is, but we're going to see. Okay, this is the um, Banners Pick a Punch, which, best blue, <laughs> bless Boudreaux's heart. I know, I know. So, um, this is the Banner Pick a Punch, and I, I'd have to look to see if it's current. I'm so sorry, y'all. I, I really, I, I try to be the best demonstrator on the planet. And it's rare, but sometimes I fall short. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, I got to look down in here because this thing gets a little crazy. Where is my bum, 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 scary dental tool? I usually tell people like him to at least say, hi, drop dead. He might have. I, I think Boudreaux was ready for that. He, he was ready for me to give him permission to just tell me, to do just that. Okay. So y'all, I just, can you see how, how it, mm, there we go. Can y'all see it in there? I've got it just between, oops, there it goes. I got it just, just between the, the thingy thing. So it's, you know, it's a good shape, right? Cause if I had it a little bit off, it, it would be a little off. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. Now y'all, I could go just do this and all that, but I'm not going to. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. Y'all, I have things everywhere. Okay, I'm going to cut it right about here. Then I'm sticking this side in. I'm going to try and put it in so y'all can see it better. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Okay. Now, y'all see how it needs to be over here or over there, right? Okay, well, we're going to put it. I have to look at it, and I'll show you. Please hold. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, I just got it in the center. Boop. Okay. Okay, so now we got our two, our two little fish tails, right? Right. Now, y'all, we are cheating up a storm. We're cutting it in half, and we are just going to put them like this. And like this, come here, like this and like this, y'all, just like that, okay? So let me grab my glue. Let me grab my Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay. All right, so we're just going to put a little bit on here and put it here. All right. Now, my daughter-in-law, she likes pretty things, but I'm not talking about, you know, pinks and we're not the same on that sort of thing um, but we both love my son so that works all right I'm just lining it up so I know where this should go because y'all the doctor says my eyeballs are great but I don't think they're that good okay here we go there we go y'all so yeah so that was stressful just going to the doctor yeah it's a lot y'all it's y'all it is a lot is a lot. Okay. And just, just, I mean, that's the tiniest little sliver, but there, you do have to just kind of keep, keep working with this to get it to fit in there. Okay. So now everything fits and everybody but Boudreaux's happy, right? Right. Okay. So now I'm going to put this down and I'm not going to put this on dimensionals because there's too many little picky pieces in that part, right? Right. This so much resembles Art Deco, and it's so cool looking. And let me show y'all. This is the Simply Elegant. This is the Simply Elegant paper, and it's, I mean, it's gorgeous, y'all. That's the back of it. I know I showed y'all this before, but y'all got to see it. This is all shiny. And no, Ninja Man's not dying in there. He's okay. It's okay. And that's the... Oh, well, I, I see how I've got it. That's the back. Look at that. I don't even know. I mean, it... Y'all, I don't know what to make out of that. And then there's the back. It's Morse code. 
Morse code. Okay. And then um, this one, it looks like the ceiling of somewhere fancy, like in Paris. Okay. In Paris. Okay. All right. And then that's the back. And then y'all, y'all. That beautiful. I'm I'm saving this kind of stuff for Christmas. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so that's where that family comes from. That little paper pack there, and it was part of the paper share that I bought into. Um, Nyoka. That's what I was trying to think of the name. Art Deco. Yes, yes. You mean Nyoka? You mean I thought of something? <laughs> I would have said it's some kind of Deco something, y'all. But no, it is. It's Art Deco. All right, so we're just going to put, you don't, you don't have to get crazy with your glue, all right? I mean, you can, but I'm saying you don't have to. Y'all, I got, I, I'm, I'm going to be on time. I'm going to do this. All right, we're just, you know, we're putting it at the, at the pressure points, okay? Okay. So, um, here we go. Here we go. Just, just some. You don't want it to ooze out either. You just, you know, ooze. Okay, that is the grossest word. Okay, y'all, so after I did the whole eye doctor thing. Um, it, it was dramatic. It was dramatic, y'all. Well, y'all, our little Wren had to have an MRI. And I'm okay. I'm okay. She's okay. They got the information back today and basically they're going to do another, um, I think it's, uh, I don't think it's called CAT scan, whatever it's called, whatever it's called, and more blood work. So, you know, there's, there's a little concern there, but it's okay. It's, we think she's going to be all right. We do. Um, but y'all pr pray for Ren and uh, for her mama and daddy and uh, just, you know, just pray that she's going to be okay. And we're not going to stay, we're not, we're not camping out there. We're not, because I don't do good when I camp out there. Um, but y'all. She had that MRI. She is six. Yes, it reminds me of the old timey ceiling tile. Yes, PET scan. That's it. Thank you. PET scan. I you know, I knew that. See, y'all, y'all are just helping my brain. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna put the happy birthday. This is the one, y'all know, that I did all my heat embossing first, right? Now it, it's a little loud and crazy. I know, I know. It's okay. Um but we're just going to put that up on, I put the happy birthday up on dimensionals. These little guys that I'm almost out of, but I got a whole bunch coming. Um, yes, thank you, Marilyn. God has it. She is precious. But y'all, y'all, they, uh, they told my daughter, they looked at the chart and they said, there's a six-year-old coming in for an MRI and no meds. They didn't put her to sleep. And... They <laughs> turned a couple of pages and saw who the patient was. And they said, oh, it's Wren. She's got this. <laughs> and that child laid there still for 40 minutes. Okay. This one says, hoping your day is full of love, laughter, and joy. It doesn't have a spot because it belongs here, y'all. But look, you could put it on here if you wanted. You don't have... It, we're coloring outside of the lines. Okay. All right. So let's just see. Sending happy thoughts. I'm just, we're interviewing right now. We're seeing, do we want these guys here? Uh, just wanted to say, could go across there if we wanted. We don't need thank you. We don't need congratulations. We don't need anniversary. Let's see what this one says. Oh, sympathy, no. Hooray, it's your birthday. Now that's fun, and it goes right there, y'all. We're going to use that. A card to say hello. No, no, it's a card with a purpose. Oh, yes, she loves her some pizza. And chicken nuggets, y'all. The child is made out of chicken nuggets. Wishing you a year of magical moments and wonderful memories. Now that, I don't, I don't know yet. We're, we're going to let John 3.16 hold that, okay? And then I'll be looking everywhere for it. Y'all say, it's right there. It's right there. I'm so happy to celebrate these moments with you. More like a wedding. And I'm not going to be there the day of. Or maybe I am. I have no idea. Be strong. Be brave. You've got this. Mm, again, no. Um, thank you for being you. Okay, y'all. That's so sweet. Thank you for being you. But who else are you going to be, okay? I mean, unless 
you finally got that other personality exercised out of your dang body, you know, you don't need to thank you for being here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Congratulations for making it, you know, 36 years, however old you Sending a smile your way. That's kind of cute. We'll put that down there. Okay. Okay. And, oh, happy day. No, I don't even know how that happened. And your kindness means more than you can ever imagine. Um, y'all, I think we're going to move just wanted to say, and we're going to put it right in the middle. That's it. Now, this is a little busy. It's a little much, but I think we're going to make it, y'all. We're going we're gonna to make it. I'm going to show the other cards that the uh, if you were late coming in, y'all missed them. And if you're here and you haven't said, hey, hey, let me know you're here, please. It doesn't cost a dime extra. It doesn't. Um, but okay, y'all. So I, doctor, went to my uh, small group cookout and I made a bunch of friends with um, my new South African friends that, you know, they could read the phone book and I would listen. I loved it. Um, sending a smile your way. We're going to need some itty bitties for that one. Let's get some little ones. Um, and then the MRI, y'all, and yeah, that's, that was pretty much my week. And it's only Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Well, but actually it started, all that started on Thursday of last week because, no, on Friday. Sending a smile your way. We're going to use the little ones right here. Um, yeah, so that was on Friday. And then we've had the girls, uh, several times and, um, Y'all, they got walkie-talkies. And, oh, happy day, you made it another year. Right, Marilyn? That's right. Um, they got walkie-talkies. But, y'all, they're, they're like toy toys, okay? And they were so cute. First of all, they had to wait because nobody had batteries. And, we're, and we kept forgetting to get them while we were gone out. And if I'd bought them for them, I would have bought the batteries too. But I didn't buy them for them. It wasn't me, y'all. Um, because I grew up with, oh, we don't have any batteries on Christmas day and nothing was open for like a week. And then mom and dad forgot. And I'm sitting there still trying to get my little doll to goo goo. And it wouldn't cause it didn't have any batteries. Anyway, Nyoka, I guess you're not going to try and get me an Alan Jackson autograph. <laughs> I do have an Alan Jackson story y'all, but I don't know if I should share it. Um, but you know, I'd do it for you, girl. You know, I would. Those tickets sold out so fast. And if y'all don't know what we're talking about, Alan Jackson himself, he's from our little town here, Newnan, Georgia. And he, um, he, you know, we had this vicious tornado come through and just wipe out heaven only knows what all, right? And yeah, so he's uh, participating in a fundraiser. And the tickets just for general admission were like $49 each. If you wanted to, I don't know, if you want to drive by while the music's playing, I think you've got to pay like a hundred, but no, I'm just teasing, just teasing. But y'all, this is our card and I know it's busy, but she's going to love it. She is going to love it. So it gives you an idea of different ways to use this thing. So um, the tickets sold out like in minutes. Oh, well, you know, we were going to do this. I think I will. I'm going to stick it in there. I'm not even going to use the dimensionals because you kind of want it to, you know, ebb and flow there. I'm just going to put it on here. Um, This is the one that says, wishing you a year of magical moments and wonderful memories. I mean, that's probably wedding, but it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Angela. I think she'll love it. I do, because she loves shiny things, right? Thank you, Nyoka. Um, I have a little collection going of these things, and guess what? It's kind of a lot of peace of mind to know that I have all these sentiments already done. I just I just poke them into this little bag that I've got, okay? All right, I'm going to show you all the rest, so please hold, please hold. Thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. You're so sweet. And y'all, there's a heart shape here and a star there, but I'm telling you, this background paper says it all. I don't even need, I don't need to put anything else there. Okay, so we have a birthday card, and on the inside, I will probably, 
thank you, Lisa. I'll probably, you know what, let's just do that. I'm, I'm just going to glue that down right now because it fits, y'all. It fits perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down for the inside. Y'all know I'm terrible, terrible about the inside of my cards. And then I'm even worse about sending them. I, I have a card in my car right now that I have a friend who had a birthday and I, and I never sent her a card. But look, y'all. Okay, so right here, I'll get a lighter gray and just write my little my little thing on there. Okay, so there's this one and this one. And if you miss these, y'all, this is the one that's funny shaped. It's um, I'll have to actually make an envelope for it if I ever part with it, y'all. And then there's this one, which there's a lot of love went into this right here. Whole lot of love. But look at him. Isn't he adorable? And I did ask his mama, could I share this? And she said he could. I, I could. Because I was like, you know, I should ask, right? Because he's a high school senior. Doesn't mean he's a grown man. So I wanted to be sure it was okay. And the mama said it's okay. So I'm like, all right, it's on now. <laughs> okay, so that's all of them, y'all. And it's almost nine o'clock. So I hope that gives you a good idea about what you can do when you look at a set like this and you're like, what in the world do I need all those for? Well, I hope I've showed you what you need them for. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Marilyn, Nyoka, Angela. Nyoka, I was fussing at the post office for a person not getting my birthday card. Was cleaning out the other day and <laughs> the card never mailed it. <laughs> Nyoka, you've been watching me too long, girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness. So I, I may have to get my hair cut, y'all, because I got these little things sticking out. And I don't know. I'm starting to pick up FM right here. Okay. So listen, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I can't believe I did that card in an hour, y'all. It's because I knew what I was doing today. It's because I knew, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. These are the cards. I'm going to post it. Let me see which way I go. I go this way. Yeah. I'm going to post them on my, um, on my page. You can do a screenshot now if you want to, and, uh, you'll see them. You'll see them on Kathy Bellhead and Creatively Blessed. Okay. Thanks guys. Love you all. And God bless. Toodles.